Can't ever start this episode. Nah. Normal. Or an episode normal. Hey, did you hear about the pandemic that's happening in China right now? Another one? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? And this one is like, it's... It's like, oh, it's like pneumonia, but you don't cough. What? So you don't know you have it until you have a fever. We call it Gojira. <laughs> Japan. Eh. They're all the same. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I just don't know where movies come from. Yeah, okay. I'm just bad about that. China. I mean, you know, for a long time. I didn't realize how many Asian countries there actually were. There's a lot, dude. I always thought it was just China and Japan. And Lady Boy Land? Lady Boy Land? No, like even as a young kid, <laughs> I was just like, there's brown Asians? Yeah, Filipinos. It's like, no, that's a Mexican, dude. You're thinking of Mexican. I've seen a pe- Mexicans with squinty eyes. Yeah. That's just, that's just. No, Filipinos too. I guess that is true. Yeah, their name's like, you know, Wang Lopez. <laughs> Ungbuck. <laughs> Ungbuck. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Night Funk. Yo. Uh, shout out to all the new followers. Yeah, we're, uh, I think, 50 short of a 2,000. Yeah, we're pretty damn close. Tell your friends. The video finally calmed the fuck down a little bit. Which I know, is... I'm kind of sad about it. I'm tired. Yeah. Of, I, I, I was always constantly looking at my phone because it was always like 100 plus things. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. Yeah. But, uh, we'll fade away. Now. If you have found us and you haven't like uh, give us, given us a follow or sub yet... <laughs> Hit you can that find, like button. You can, <laughs> you can find us at the Night Funk Podcast on Instagram and also on YouTube. Where we will be making some updates soon. Yeah. We're falling behind a little bit because of the holidays and because of technical issues, but we're brushing that all up, and we should be getting caught up very Man, soon. Motherfucker complaining about noise, and you're over there messing with it. I know, but it's because like, I, I have to make sure it's like positioned right. I don't want to <laughs> just like... I, I get so annoyed anytime I listen back to audio and one of us is not directly in front of the mic like this. Well, I think it was before when we had the um, on the stand. You did it a lot. Yeah, because with, I would talk and I'd just start leaning back. No, no, no. I mean, you did it a lot recently. Really? When we When we had Geo on for the fucking uh, the, the green card episode. Well, because we're talking this way. I know, but, yeah. the, but you adjust the mic as you go along. You just kept going. Yeah, so anyways, the fucking... The, yeah. <laughs> The well, fucking Chinese. You're over there complaining about moving the mics and making noise. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I gotta, I gotta make sure that. Oh my god. <laughs> Fix that. Anyways, what's up, everybody? New uh, episode. Yeah. Uh, brought to you by Elgato, Coca-Cola, whatever that weight is. Uh, and Japanese sour candies. <laughs> Let's try them. Let's go for it. Let's start it. Uh, Denise had one of these. Yeah, I have not tried it. She said they weren't that sour, oh. which I don't believe her because she has the soul of Satan. Yeah. Dude, mm-hmm. I had a lem- I had warhead at work. At For anybody job. that's wondering, these are the Rybon. You figure what the fuck that says because yeah. I don't. Yeah, we're sponsored. Eat that shit. Wouldn't it be cool as shit to get sponsored by a random Japanese candy? I'm doing it again. Apparently, <laughs> see, I tell you, but no. Apparently, there, what you, what he's saying in this thing, because uh, we put the Google Translate to it, he yeah. says, "Test your manliness." But let's do it. Let's do it. Apparently, this thing is supposed to have like a certain amount of fucking like sour in it. God, my jaw is already hurting, dude. She says that it that she says that it doesn't like start off right away. You have to work your way into it. You gotta chew it up. It's like a it's like a high chew. Oh, oh, not bad. Oh fuck! This is quality podcasting. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, hit the back of my throat, <laughs> bro. When she ate this, she didn't react to it at all. Oh my god. Ugh. That's strong. My stomach hurts now. That's fucking strong, dude. Oh my god. That was not it was tasty. It tastes good. At first, but then that sour kicks in, dog. No, it still tastes good. <laughs> god. But it's just sour. Is that what my cum tastes like? <laughs> You I eat a lot of lemons. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put that to the test one day. What? Just eat like you know they say like if you eat. But eat your own cum? Yes. But <laughs> <laughs> no, they say like if you eat a lot of pineapple, it makes your cum taste a little bit yeah. like pineapple. And if you eat a lot of meat, it just makes it taste like shit. Uh huh. I want to eat like different fruits and see if it tastes like that. 
How often have you ever came in a person's mouth? It's been a minute. I don't do that often. Well, no, I mean, we're married. Well, yeah, we I know. We respect the women we're with. No, no, no. But it's just like, I mean, not to get too personal, but I prefer like it going on them than as opposed to them go get going on inside in? them. No. Why not? Huh? It feels good. I, can, I mean, good. for us. But <laughs> not really. I like it. I think I like it. I like. I think. I think I like the visuality of it more. Call up Denise. Let's ask. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I saw this one. Uh, I remember I was thinking about this the other day, and it's like, uh, anytime I'm having sex, I love the moments where you you're acting like a fish. You know what I mean? <laughs> when you have the titties hanging above your head, and you're trying to catch one in your mouth, like. <laughs> 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 For all the boys out there that know what I'm talking about. Hells yeah, hangers. <laughs> Yo, if your girl don't got hangers, what you doing, dog? Bro, I was on TikTok and this random like it gives me random ads now because mm-hmm. uh, I have I've, I'm friends with a uh, Gen Zer at work, and she just sends like these random like young people. Just be TikToks. respectful, they. <laughs> no, she's just she. They're Gen Z, dog. They're all the A's at this point. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> bunch of they's. <laughs> but um, she keeps sending me these TikToks and he keeps fucking my algorithm up. To now mm-hmm. sending me like young people shit, <laughs> and uh, one of them was um, it's for girls that don't have boobs, mm-hmm. and it's some herb they're trying to pass it off as like, oh, this is a natural way to enlarge your breasts. And I was look, and they showed like the little like, like the like the science virtual thing where it shows like the inside of the titty. What the fuck? And all it shows is just someone gaining weight. Like you know when <laughs> when people get fat, they retain fat. Yeah. So you see like more fat in the titty. Yeah. So I'm like, so it just makes you fat. So or it gives ma- you titties. Or maybe it just helps you retain the fat there. But I don't see how. I don't know. It's like, remember, I don't know if you ever heard about this, but apparently a lot of people back in the day who grew up in the hood said that like a thing that a lot of women used to do back in the days, they used to rub their uh, boobs and ass with government butter to make it <laughs> to make to make them grow in government butter. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz it had to be government butter. Because they were putting chemicals in the butter. Oh, well, duh. And uh, apparently, it's something that they used to do back in the day. Was they would they would rub? I guess the I guess the fat of the butter would absorb yeah. through the skin. And Did you know the government has a stockpile of cheese? Yeah, yeah. I didn't it, know that for the longest time. I think they started that around the Great Depression in order to make sure that they, they, they did that to make sure that the dairy industry didn't collapse on itself. Yeah, but it's just sitting there. Yeah. It, that's where that's where government cheese came from. Yeah. That's why government cheese became a thing because they had this stockpile of cheese. They bailed out all these farms that were going to go mm-hmm. under during the Great Depression. They stocked all this cheese, and then after the Depression had ended, that's where government cheese came from. You know a lot about this. Yes, I know. Okay, I know a lot of things for no reason. Yeah, like government cheese. Huh? I just remember I used to write little stories back in middle school about Squirrel Man, just a random superhero I made up, mm-hmm. and he was trying to steal government cheese. Yeah. It was just off the top of the head. While you were doing Squirrel Man, I was actually learning the conspiracies behind government cheese. In middle school? Yeah. Okay. I learned to, dude, well, middle see, sc- I had friends. Mi- middle school, <laughs> I, no, middle school is like, like, you know, I knew, I knew middle school was a different experience for me because, of like, like, one, I was very shy in middle school. And so the, the conversations I had with people were just, like, kind of random where they would just kind of ask for my input. And I didn't yeah. know how to input back then. Because I like I, I was so shy that I just I always had like stage fright to talk to people, and uh, I remember there used to be this there used to be a group of kids that just would always like ask me questions of what I thought about certain things, and I had no idea what they were talking about. And one time they were talking to me about like, what do you think about the Illuminati? And I'm like, I have never heard of that. So like I started fucking like googling like on my mom's phone Illuminati. <laughs> Your mom's getting contacted by like. FBI and shit. <laughs> what do you know about the Illuminati? Yeah, <laughs> and then I just went down like that was like one of the first. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the first rabbit hole I ever went down, and it always came from that one kid who was smoking weed way too early in life. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Like he's the kid that like I guess got into his brother's weed stash in middle school, mm-hmm. started fucking smoking weed, and then next thing you know he's coming to school with like. Just these crazy conspiracies. It's all conspiracy, man. The reason they took away weed is because they're trying to make sure that we don't have the cure to cancer, bro. It's like what? He's it's in the, the Bible, same, man. He's wearing the same. Uh, <laughs> he's wearing the same fucking uh, weed like pajamas that every stoner wears. Yeah, yeah. 
and a hoodie. Or you know, he has that Baja hoodie <laughs> that he got like Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah. Did I ever tell you, I used to have like a weed shirt that I used to wear all the time. <laughs> Why? Because I, I, I don't know who gave it to me. I think one of our cousins gave it to me. Uh, uh, they like they brought it back for me from like Mexico because they're like he think it's, it's made of weed. <laughs> he, no, that, I think that the whole logic behind it was like, oh, they'll think this is funny. Mm. So what they ended up doing, they, they they brought me a shirt. It had just a pot plant on the front, like where like the where like the pocket usually goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it had a j- massive weed plant on the back. And I remember I cut the sleeves off of it, so I used to wear, like, a sleeveless shirt. Mm-hmm. And in Spanish, it said, uh, Yerba mala nunca muere. Which I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, that's apparently, like, a really old school saying. I don't mm. know exactly. The bad what. herb never dies. Yeah. yeah. But, I'm like, I'm like, but I think bad herb is, I, th- I think the whole saying is supposed to be, like, I think it's, like, a reference to, like, like, like rebellious children, you know, I guess so, yeah. you like bad weeds, you know. Yeah, you can't get rid of them. Yeah, yeah, they'll keep coming back. Yeah, this episode is about Thanksgiving and Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Um, yeah, we'll stick on the subject <laughs> real fast. Um, did your do you remember eating Thanksgiving food at school? Like when they had that like slice of like shitty turkey? Yeah, and the watered down gravy. Yeah, yeah, and the stuffing. I don't remember the stuffing. But it I was just like, gra- <laughs> they just take like, uh, what's it called? Uh, burger patties and mm. the burger buns and just kind of mush them up. I hate it when schools try to like keep up with like the festivities and stuff because it mm-hmm. always resulted in some shitty food. You know what I hated the most? Whenever they do Dr. Seuss Day with the green eggs and ham. Oh, that was gross. I, yeah, yeah. It, it was just green dye that they poured into like scrambled eggs and shit. But they don't know if you put too much in it, it makes the food fucking disgusting. I want to believe that it wasn't even dye. They were just getting rid of old eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I remember they started doing uh, Cinco de Mayo. What? Yeah, dude. So they would give like tacos. <laughs> yeah, it was hard shell like shitty ass tacos. <laughs> hey, Cinco de Mayo, we got you the Taco Bell, like Crunchwrap Supreme. Oh, God. I said that would be better. Yeah. I went to a fucking Taco Bell KFC restaurant. What? A combo? Yeah, the combo ones. Dude, that was badass. I, I gotta... want you to put <laughs> a whole chicken in the bur- in the burrito. I would be lying to you if I didn't order a crunch wrap with a chicken sandwich. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> We're making all this progress and people are like supporting us in our weight loss journeys. Oh no, dude. I've been downhill <laughs> a, a couple of weeks before. I knew Thanksgiving was coming. No, nah, Thanksgiving ruined. I got off one of my meds too. What? The one that was like baby meth. I think I told you last time. Yeah. And uh, bro, getting up in the morning, it's like trying to like. Like, bring me back to life or something. It's oh, fucking ridiculous. Damn. So I haven't been to the gym in a while. How long would you say? About a week. That's the thing, though. Like, I love, I actually do like working out, but it's like I'll always find myself making up excuses not to go. And I think it's just because, like, if you if you have to cut something out of your day in order to make time for other stuff, you're always going to cut out the thing you know that, that, that hurts. No, that amounts to the most amount of effort. Yeah, you, of course. It, working out is always going to be the most amount of effort you have to put into most, any, mostly anything, you know? Yeah. I forgot who said this, but, like, like, I think somebody had said that, like, the most physically demanding job you'll ever work will always get you the least amount of pay. That was Bill Cosby talking about the woman he raped. <laughs> God damn, dog. He didn't get any money off of it. Huh? He lost money. Did he? I mean, he went to prison. Yeah. Yeah. God. I wonder what kind of, what kind of Thanksgiving that did was. He actually, did he actually do it, though? Or do know. you think that people just came after him for money? It's been a long, like, it's been a long time since hey, man, I... Me Too. Hashtag Me Too, man. I mean, I'm sure he got Me too Yeah. But the, the, the thing is, like, it, like how how many of them are legitimate? Like, I'm not saying that he didn't, like, rape those women. What I'm saying is, you know there's got to be, like, two or three that are just kind of, like... The ride the coattails. Yeah, you know? yeah. Which, I mean, you know, fuck you if that's what you did, but at the same time, like... It's one of those things where it's like, he's really nice. Why? Some people... For the betterment of the black community? I mean... I mean, he, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was like the voice of a generation. Yeah, for, he was. Then he went and tried to fucking roofie with He him. made yeah. Little Bill. <laughs> Little Bill was the shit, though. Little Bill was the shit. That guy was... A, that kid would have gotten a fucking ass whooping, though, in real yeah. life. Yeah. 
Still not the most annoying kid on TV. I had to give that to Caillou. Oh, Caillou's a little shit. You know, for the longest time, people were like, "Oh yeah, Caillou's based on like a kid that's like diagnosed with cancer." That's not true. They just no, they just, just made, bald. They made him bald because it's easier to animate. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason. I was just trying to be assholes. Like, oh, he's cancer. Oh, yeah. Little cancer kids. Like, what the fuck, dude? There used to always be this one dude on um on TikTok that used to always dress up as Caillou and dance to trap music and like smoke <laughs> like a bunch of blunts. Nice. I forgot what his name was. I think he just went by like like Caillou, Ca- Caillou from the hood or something like that. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah. A fucking. What is it? There's another fucking kid. Yeah, dogs are going nuts, dude. Yeah. It's because the, uh, with with the, the cars that pass by and shit, uh, they just yeah. can't help themselves from fucking barking. Also, because I think they're they're by themselves over there right now. Because mm-hmm. we got the little doggy gate up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, they, they can probably hear us talking and they're just like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> let us in. <laughs> let me in. But no, yeah, uh, Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Uh, Black Friday isn't the same. It's not. There's no bloodshed anymore. No. You remember the old days going you, in you there? You get fucking stomped out if you accidentally fall? Dude. It's like, how many it. people die on Black Friday? I don't know. That's just a good question. Yeah, I'll look it up. But yeah. How many fatalities have there been in Black Friday, uh, Black Friday events? There has to have been like... A couple of hundred before it started calming down, because what it's been like a couple of years now that Black Friday just isn't what it used to be. There's a website called Black Friday Death Count. <laughs> right now it's at that can't be right. No, okay, it's all total together. Cool, oh, Jesus Christ! Just this year? <laughs> no, total like all together from like I guess the beginning of Black Friday, or this goes back to twenty two thousand six. It looks like. Was that when the first Black Friday event started? No, they've been going on for a while. What, there's Black Friday events in the 80s? I don't know, actually. But uh, the death counts up to seven or 17 deaths. 17? Wait, that must be this year, then. Of this year? Yeah, I guess there's 17 deaths this year. Well, how many in total? Uh, a lot. <laughs> there's 125 injuries. 125 injuries yes. in Black Friday events this year? It looks like it. What the fuck? Well, no, 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 but, but the, go back to fatalities. How many fatalities? <laughs> they say this Hold year. Hold on, I just found survival tips. <laughs> <laughs> survival tips. Plan ahead before stepping out of the house. You must know which stores you're going to and the, and the items you want to get. Make sure to bring hollow point bullets. <laughs> <laughs> survival tip. Pack light. <laughs> <laughs> Only carry items that you need. You will have a hard time navigating the aisles if you're carrying a huge bag. <laughs> Charge your phone. Make sure your phone is at 100% when you leave. How fucking long are you staying out? <laughs> Jesus. Make sure to bring <laughs> three bring, weeks worth of water. Bring <laughs> a portable charger if you have one. Have your emergency contacts and information handy as well. <laughs> are you going to fucking war? Like, what the hell? Does it recommend bringing flashbangs? <laughs> uh, be alert. <laughs> be alert. <laughs> leave if you sense that there is danger. That means the sales are good. <laughs> if there's a sense of danger, there's something there worth grabbing. You want to stay away from large minority-based communities <clears throat> and go towards the more whites. No, fuck no, man. Them fucking Karens and wasps out there. Yeah. They'll kill you, run your ass over if you're trying to get inside. Do you remember those fucking videos from back in the day of, pe- of the, the moms fighting over the Tickle Me Elmos and shit? Oh, yeah, dude. They're fucking fist fighting They used shit. to fucking beat the dog shit out of each other just to get a fucking, like... <laughs> Like a my, little Elmo toy. My favorite one is these two moms are fighting over. It wasn't an Elmo toy. They're fighting over a toy, and they just drop it and start fucking like. Boom. <laughs> it looks like those the uh, like what is it? Fry and the Asian guy that fight. They're grabbing each other, just boom, boom, boom. And then you see the other lady just go. <laughs> it steals it and runs off. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me think of that UFC fight of like um, somebody. Somebody had did like one of those clips where it's like girls with autism and it's got the girl that's like bouncing around like yeah. all like laughing and shit. And it cuts over to boys with autism and it's two uh, UFC fighters that were both grabbing each other by the head and both just yeah. Hitting. That's that's a uh, Don Fry and uh, I forget what the Asian guy is, but the Asian guy was all fucked up afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the same guy that like is in the video with him and the cowboy hats. I think they're a bunch of sissies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So they're fucking prancing around wearing dresses, uh, painting their toenails, or what the hell's with that? <laughs> Bro, that guy was a fucking beast, though. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was like he was he was fighting MMA back when they still allowed shoes. Mm-hmm. Like you could fight. He was they, wearing some nice shoes too. 
apparently back then the only i think the only big rules were no you weren't allowed to eye gouge mm-hmm. and you weren't allowed to pull hair yeah you were still allowed to do like um like you can knee someone in the face when they're on the ground or yeah, just you, straight up fucking kick them yeah you could you could knee and kick while they're on the ground and i think you were also allowed um ball hits mm-hmm. you're allowed to hit them in the balls and you can hit them in the back of the head yeah yeah Grab his dick and twist it. (laughs) The old dick twist. (laughs) Twist that dick. (laughs) I want to, dude. I've been like falling down a rabbit hole of that on TikTok. Just the, uh, just fucking, uh, the bare knuckle fighting, especially the ones from Russia. Oh my god! They just have like that ring they made out of hay, and they're like indoors, but it's just fucking hay. And you see these guys come out, and you hear like the, like against the face, and they're beating the. Fuck out of each other. So dude. apparently, the whole idea behind bear, uh, like bare knuckle, uh, like fighting and shit, was they believe that the reason why there's such like bad, um, like injuries and concussions and fighting is because of padded gloves, because they feel like because they're protecting their hands that they're like they're able to swing at at at, at faster and higher volumes because it's kind of padded a little bit. So they thought. Okay, so if we take away the gloves, they'll be able to still hit, but they're not going to be able to handle the same amount of punishment as the uh, as padded gloves. They were completely fucking yeah, wrong. Yeah, bro, these guys are over here punching cement walls like nothing. It's not just that, but some of them are just fucking crazy motivated to win. Yeah. Some of them have like their face just ripped apart and they're still like put me in coach. Mm-hmm. Like they they don't want to give up. They're like I'm fuck they're putting it every everything on the fucking line. But bro, the MMA women, those are the hardest ones. Huh? The and women that fight in MMA? Yeah. Bro, dude, like the one lady that gets hit in the ear, her cauliflower ear just explodes. Yeah. Like you see the lady just whoom, pa and you see the ear just Looks like a gusher got stepped on. <laughs> yeah, or just whenever you see like a like a like a female fighter hit like a really good time like head kick, mm-hmm. and you just see them go boom, like they yeah. just like they just fall to the ground and they slam their head on the ground and shit. I've seen some of the gnarliest knockouts on yeah. like UFC, or when they break each other's arms and legs. Yeah, like the one this one lady she had her like in a in like an arm bar, mm-hmm. and the other one starts like hit, elbowing her in the ribs, and it pisses her off. And she just like turns her arm, and you see the elbow go snap. Fights yeah. over. The the thing is, they don't have to. They, uh, excuse me. Like, whenever like an arm pops like that, <clears throat> they're not stopping because they're, they're stopping because mm-hmm. of like the medical reason. The referee has to stop it. Yeah. They don't have like, in some cases, like. There's been times where uh, a fighter has gotten, like, their arm completely removed from the socket, and they still kept fighting after the Mm -hmm. fact because they were able to hide the injury. Yeah, the adrenaline, dude. Yeah. But, you know, afterwards. (laughs) Oh, yeah. They walk, they're all all hard and shit, walk into the (laughs) dressing room, door closed. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) More than likely. um, I always think about, um, I always think about the fucking, like, uh, Post prison, Mike Tyson when he when he got out of prison and he had that little fucking like goatee. That's when he was at his most like yeah. vicious, right? And he fought that fucking big ass Irish dude. And it's it's that famous clip of him just like staring, and then he's got his eyes like moving back and mm-hmm. forth, and the dude's like kind of like you know like smiling, yeah. and then. He immediately rushes Mike as soon as the fucking match starts, and Mike just fucking lights him up. It's the same clip that I sent you from that meme of like when my friends call me gay, and then oh, it yeah. changes over to when a gay calls me friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Mike Tyson. That's yeah. a sad man too. He's, he's got th- some sadness. He's been through a lot, man. Yeah. You got to think about, like, like his... the whole daughter thing. That, like, that was just like, Jesus Christ. That's devastating. But it's not it's it, it's not even just the daughter thing, man. Like, he just had a sad fucking life. Like, he mm-hmm. was just like a lost child who was brought in by, um by like, a, a boxing, like, coach legend that was just like, I'm going to turn you into a fucking champion. Mm-hmm. And, like, the thing was, you know, people didn't believe he was, like, 
Like, when he was 13 years old and they were putting him in boxing competitions with other 13-year-olds, they were accusing him of being an adult. They're like, that's a fucking man. <laughs> and they're like... I mean, he's fucking huge. No, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I imagine you're, like, in some little league, like, like 13-year-old only, like, boxing, and you're up against, like, young Mike Tyson, and he's over there just like, like, I'm ferocious. He's like, motherfucker, you shave more than me. What the fuck, dude? My style is impeccable. You got to... <laughs> yeah. Th- th- <laughs> no, uh, that reminds me of uh, that scene. Do you ever see that movie, The Bench Warmers? Yeah. Yeah. So, the, what's his face? The the Hispanic guy that plays the uh, the Cuban kid, uh, the Dominican guy. Yeah. And he's like, they're like, no, that guy's like fucking older than me. What the hell? And he's over there smoking, drinking a beer and smoking a cigarette. He's like, no, here's his uh, birth certificate. And it's written in crayon. <laughs> and there's a $20 bill. He's like, and the ref, uh, the umpire's like, Looks good to me. <laughs> and then when he's up the bat, he's like, here, hold my cigarette. <laughs> he just gives him his beer. He's like, ah, oh, shit, you burnt my hand. <laughs> but no, kids are, kids nowadays, like, like, you see some high schoolers, like when my niece, when, like, like you see her around or anything. Yeah. Like, she looks like a kid still. Good. Um, but, like, you see some of these other high schoolers, like the boys especially, motherfuckers look like they pay mortgages and shit. Yeah. Like, they're already balding. Well, then again, I feel like there was always that crowd, like, in, like, I remember in high school, like, the, 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 the kids above us, like, as we were, like, like, whenever, Mm -hmm. when I was a freshman, the seniors at the time. They looked like adults. They looked like grown-ass fucking adults. And then, you know what's the most mind-blowing, dude? Have you ever seen footage of high school in, like, the early 90s? And you're like, dude, they all look like fucking adults. Yeah. And then you look back to like your like high school photos, and you just look like a fucking little kid. Lost in a That's always the song they play on those on those things. It's that uh, I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. I think it's Newfound Glory. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, the one I've been seeing a lot is the um. I know, a simple play. Like, I'm just a teenage dirtbag oh, yeah. baby. I'm just. <laughs> Or it's the uh, the Green Day one, huh? Is Green Day the time of your life one? Uh, uh, I don't remember how it goes. Another I was yeah. twenty three and she was sixteen, <laughs> but she didn't know because I wore a red tie. <laughs> what the fuck? Because I'm Green Day and I fuck kids. <laughs> that happened? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm starting rumors. I'm starting rumors again. (laughs) Shout out to... No, I'm not going to do it. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out to who? I I, I didn't know where you're going with that. other podcast. Oh. (laughs) I still think we should do the thing I said to do. Oh, I remember... um, um, uh, One of the the dudes that uh, followed us that was in that band. The Varmints. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just started a, a podcast with his brother. Nah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Shout out to Sloan TV. Those guys are awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, come on here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're twin brothers. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I watched uh, a little bit of their first episode. They were just talking about Bigfoot, which is funny because I remember when we started, we are like, we're never talking about Bigfoot. I think we they did br- end up talking about it a little bit. We too. talked about it a little bit, but like, it's just like... Everyone does it. Everybody does talk about it. But then again, apparently we do a lot of shit that fucking Joe Rogan does, so fuck, fuck you, internet. We're going to copy them. We're going to copy everything Isimo did. Next fucking week, I'm going to have a bald fucking head and tattoo sleeves, <laughs> and I'm just going to start taking brain supplements. I'm going to dress up like, a, what's his face? Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already kind of, you know, getting there. So, <laughs> I love the videos of him like saying shit, and they put like um, the fucking white stripes to it, like like. Dun, dun, dun. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What's the fucking one that always plays? Oh, I need to fucking find it. Yeah. But um, well, let me ask you this: What do you think Mike Tyson does for Thanksgiving? Huh? Do you think he just pigs the fuck out, Mike Tyson, or do you think he like watches what he eats? Especially now that he's older. I think he I think he used to just like Do you think he celebrates Thanksgiving? I'm sure he's grateful for a lot of things. Yeah. I mean he still has some kids that are still alive. I don't yeah. think he like I know that he's still like heartbroken about the kid he lost. 
And then, of course, the the whole shit that happened with, like, Robin Gibbons, like, that was pretty fucked. You know, she, like, she was able to get him arrested under the accusation of rape, which, you know, caused him to become a registered, like, like, um, sex offender and shit like that. But, like, the thing is, like, there's so much, like, legality behind it. I don't know what is true. That was, like, in a different era, too. kind of want another one. Huh? You, another sour candy? Yeah, dude, they were good. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, they're, they're, they're strong, but, like. It tastes good. <laughs> they taste good at first, but that, that bitterness is too. No, stop. You know what I've noticed? I've noticed that I am not a huge fan of, like, fucking, like, the. ASMR shit. Oh. It, no. <laughs> no. Eat this in your ear. I'm just going to take off my headphones <laughs> real quick. I'm just going to listen to my natural voice. <laughs> Hello. Uh. <laughs> You're the one that went for it. I don't know why. It's so good. Why uh. do you like to punish yourself? You've been a dirty little pig. Uh. <laughs> I just eat sour candy. That's my kick. I eat sour candies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you, why I'm a diet. Wait, well, hold up, hold up. How many fucking grams of sugar? I, it's in Japanese, so I don't know. Is it over nine thousand? I mean, there's a there's, uh, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of shit, dude. I need I don't know how you can read this shit. <laughs> You're the one that wanted to eat it. It's good. <laughs> like after the sourness goes away, the candy is good. Oh, yeah. Um, I made some potatoes yesterday for Thanksgiving. They were pretty good. I even had a nice little dish for them and everything. I was trying to look for that fucking what? Joey Diaz clip. It's harder than a fucking missile, you understand me? Fuck the world, fuck what they're telling you. It's you and me against all these motherfuckers hand to hand combat on the daily, you understand me? And if your thought process ain't like that, bend over and Vaseline that asshole, because that ain't going to get no better for you. You got your gold written down. Your if you want to watch that episode, just go back uh, to our previous episodes. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joey Diaz is on our episodes. What? <laughs> <laughs> you play him enough. I don't. You played them a bunch when we first started. You would like pull up little things or something or have them on the soundboard. Uh, No, I didn't. There you go. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. You can go back and listen to those episodes. Yeah, I, I think I probably did like once. No. On, no, in the beginning. Audience, I, you guys will go listen to that. No, my, the thing I've done the most is Alex Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alex Jones. I've done a lot of Alex Jones. What do you think he does for Thanksgiving? Huh? Does he just eat all his supplements that he didn't sell? <laughs> Dude, those supplements, like I like I remember they the like poison. Well, it's not that they're poison. They just have shit in there that's just not like like they were trying to put like a bunch of natural shit in like roots and stuff mm. that have no correlation to any actual science. They're just like, Oh, this sounds healthy. Let's just fucking throw this shit in there. And the guy who was making the supplements had like n- like he claimed to be like a biochemist from fucking Harvard, and then they actually did research. I think like John Oliver ended up doing oh, like, really? the whole thing, like a whole thing about it. They went back. They actually contacted the colleges that he claimed that he was from, and they all were like, "We don't know who the fuck that is. We have no records of showing that he ever went to any of these schools." Nice. Yeah. So he was fucking. Yeah. Just hiring, like, charlatans to fucking make his, like, shit for him. I did see that the government was trying to block him from being able to declare bankruptcy to not pay the families that money. Really? Yeah. God damn. Because that's what he was trying to do. He was like, oh, I, I, did, I didn't win. Uh, bankruptcy. That way he doesn't have to pay for it. <laughs> and they were like, no, you're going to pay for it, you fucking asshole. <laughs> but, yeah. I just want to know what kind of turkey he eats because you know it has to be like either he went out and hunted it or he bought it from like an all natural like butcher. Maybe he makes a turducken. A turducken. Yeah, a turducken dog. Yeah. Puts a frog in it. A frog? (laughs) Right in the middle. (laughs) It's a gay frog. I got to get rid of him. (laughs) But yeah. Or he, he, he sous vide it in a I, in a tactical bath. I still love that clip of him being like, <laughs> "It's like you want to have sex with me," 
And he just he slowly, smiles. slowly <laughs> smiles. <laughs> That's the thing that I, like, I started watching a lot of his clips, and you see him making fun of himself a lot. Like, like that, he's just like starts smiling because he can't help but crack up because it sounds he knows it sounds stupid. Well, that's the thing, yeah. like, a lot, like, I don't know when the paradigm shift happened with Alex Jones because I know at one point he was kind of respected a little bit because a yeah. lot of the shit that he covered had some legitimacy on it, yeah. you know, like, you know, about ta- the, the Tower Seven shit and then him talking about um, getting into like Bohemian Grove. And then it wasn't until after uh, he fr- the first big trouble was probably around the time that he covered the whole Pizzagate thing. No, it was way before that. No, that was the first one that was like fucking like big. Like I'm talking about like big, big. Like yeah, he had other Sandy ones. Sandy Hook was the big one, dude. That happened after Sandy Hook. Pizzagate. No, 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 no. P- he covered Pizzagate before Sandy Hook. No, I'm pretty sure he did. No, Sandy Hook happened a while back, dude. Pizzagate is recent. No, yeah. I'm pretty sure Pizza Gate happened. Pizza Gate was during Trump's presidency. Are you sure about that? I I'm mean, I sure. I'll look it up. Yeah. Let's see. But no, yeah, uh, he got a lot of shit. Like everyone was kind of backing him because he was riding on Trump's dick for a while, um, and before that, um, Sandy Hook happened, and I think Sandy Hook happened when Obama was president. Still, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, no, he fell off a while back. He just got too sucked into the conspiracy. Like, it's just you pass that threshold and you're just like, well, maybe it's all true. Pizzagate happened in 2016. Sandy Hook happened in 2012. Yeah, told you. Damn. Yeah, dude. 2012, dude. That's been a minute. Damn. Yeah. And yeah, 20, 20 just year old, 20 year old shot in yeah, 26 people. Mm-hmm. Damn. Sandy Hook, 26 people. Yeah, it was 26 people. Well, I mean, 26 kids. Well, it just says 26. Well, well, it says, no, kids and teachers, I think. No, number of deaths is 28, 27 at the school, including the perpetrator and the perpetrator's mother at home. Yeah. Oh, he killed himself? Yeah. Okay. Afterwards, I think. I don't remember much about the actual shooter. I mean, because at that point, we weren't really watching. Well, there was another shooting much. that happened that where they did capture, like, the kid, one of the kids. They captured the... I forgot what fucking shooting was. It was like... But that's the thing. There's been so many fucking school shootings. Yeah. It's hard to keep track of which is which. That's the thing. Like, I thought Sandy Hook um, happened, <clears throat> like, after the fact because that's how often they were happening. Because if I think about 2016, <clears throat> 2016 was probably another year of where... I don't know how many fucking school shootings happen. How many school shootings have we had this year? A lot, dude. I think, a, they, I think they said like we've had pretty much a school shooting for every day of the year. Every day of the year? Yeah, damn. like that many. Yeah, it's fucking rough, dude. How do we fix this? Uh, we don't. Moving on. <laughs> uh, we give all the kids guns. I don't know. Well, we're going to give up our guns like we're a bunch of fucking Canadians? Fuck they you. Don't give their guns this is America. Them. We ain't pussies. You have the Star Spangled Banner on there. Uh, I wish I did. Yeah. I might actually. I don't know. Click on this one. There we hey, go, there baby. You go. <laughs> Wake up, cocksuckers! <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. God, yeah. I, a, lo- I love that speech. I don't know. It's just so good. The Joey Diaz one. Yeah. Because yeah. he's just like doing something. He's like, oh god damn it! And then the song. Starts We're gonna up. drop a bomb on North Korea. It's gonna be an island. It's gonna glow in the dark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh god, but yeah. Oh, what was it yesterday? It was like it's Thanksgiving. We were driving. Uh, uh, we were going over to my mom's house. Yeah, and uh, on the way there, my phone chimes, and I look at the news headline. Um, I forgot. I don't know what town it was. It's like town in Kentucky told the uh, shelter at home because another train derailed and what? released. Uh, it was like solid or powdered uh, sulfur. What the fuck? Yeah. So they were like, hey, don't leave your home. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Like, dude, what is it with these train derailments? Is it, the, was it fucking that goddamn... Was it Norfolk Southern again? I don't know. But um, what is you, it? Those it's, trains uh, pass through our fucking, like, area yeah, right all the time. Where that ink pig is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That's where we got our turkey. Yeah. Good oh, fucking luck, fuck. man. No wonder it was so scrumptious. <laughs> It's glowing. That powdered uh, sulfur. Sulfur. 
was probably what they used to bread that did it smell delicious like delicious Kentucky Fried Chicken. Did it smell like uh like uh rotten eggs? Mm? No, because that's what sulfur smells like. Uh, yeah, it smells like rotten eggs. Yeah. If yeah. you ever go somewhere you smell rotten eggs, like if you go to a volcano mm-hmm. and you smell rotten eggs, that's a sulfur. Okay. Yeah. But the more you know. But yeah, fucking. Or, or. or uh, what? It's me after a couple of deviled eggs. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I wish <laughs> I got some fucking deviled eggs, man. I don't even like deviled eggs. What? I don't like Bro, them. Bro, they're so fucking good. I'm not big on deviled eggs, you don't like I don't understand. Eggs? Like, huh? You don't like hard boiled eggs? I mean, they're okay. I like them. I like a hard boiled egg and a bowl of ramen. Yeah, but no, like the deviled egg, man. You get the you bake the egg and then you whip up the so put some chives and shit into the egg and whip that up and then put some fucking bacon in that bitch mm-hmm. and then sprinkle paprika on top of it. I don't know. It's just something about deviled eggs. You're just gonna sit rocking half a boner right now. There's something <laughs> about there's just something about it. It's like I don't know. It's, it's like good it's white people food. Good white people food. Yeah, I don't even know where the fuck deviled eggs came from. I don't know. What's it's got too much flavor. It can't be white people. Uh, I mean, they probably stole. Should from we white look people. up the origins of deviled eggs? Yeah, look up deviled eggs. See the origin. Okay, but no, like I uh, want to know why they're called deviled eggs. Because the devil eats them. Because they're so damn good. What? <laughs> Where are they from? They're watching people from like Uganda or some shit like that. Uganda, be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the deviled egg we know today can be traced back to ancient Rome, where boiled eggs were seasoned with spicy sauces and ser- served as a starter of a fancy meal usually made for guests. Bro, you know they'd be serving that shit during, like, orgies in Rome. <laughs> what do Christians call deviled eggs? Stuffed eggs. Are you serious? They can't <laughs> call them deviled eggs? That's like, that's, it's oh, one, my God. Fucking Google. <laughs> what do British people call deviled eggs? Mimosa eggs. Mimosa eggs. Uh, stuffed eggs, angel eggs, and dressed eggs. In Great Britain, deviled eggs is a common name. Uh, these are other names. What the fuck? Who's Googling this shit? What do Mormons call deviled eggs? <laughs> what do they call them? It's the same thing. Uh, stuffed eggs, oh dressed God. eggs, or salad eggs. Salad eggs? It's because uh, apparently they just don't like using the word uh, devil. devil. Yeah. What's so devilish about deviled eggs? Somebody <laughs> Google that. Somebody Google what's so devilish about deviled eggs. Uh, they're th- generally made with paprika and black pepper. What the fuck? Oh, because it gives it that red color. That's not enough spice for me to consider it deviled. Yeah. Like, dude, I, we should make some fucking ghost pepper deviled eggs. Serve, oh, my God. Serve them at a fucking, like, event. Take it for Christmas. For Christmas? <laughs> You know, you know our families have gobbled that shit up, bro. Oh, and get some of those fucking, like, little, like, one chip challenge crumbs. Just crumble them up. Crumble them on there. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, grandma's going to eat one by accident. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's the bullet that did it. She's not, but she's going to. Spicy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this woman's beat fucking COVID like six times, dog. She doesn't yeah. fucking give up two fucks. She's beat COVID. Those kidneys are. Still pumping, but not all the way. Uh, dude, she is just living yeah. by the grace of God. <laughs> I don't know how. Not even. Like, he's like, you're done. Come on. <laughs> Make room for someone else. Come on. <laughs> nah. It's time to recycle that soul. <laughs> Love you, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> but she's tired, man. That's that TikTok. It still cuts out the way. <laughs> Whatever, dog. She'll be gone for like a day, and then meanwhile, Revive. she she's she, she's fucking crawling out. You're like, gonna fu- see a little counter come up above her head with like a number, <laughs> and then it's gonna go down one, and it has a picture of her face next to it. For some reason, my image was grandma falling into the underworld, and she pulls out the blades of chaos and climbs her <laughs> way back. <laughs> she's fucking Kratos. No, you. She's falling, and then you hear the fucking. Dun, 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 and the fucking strings shoot out like Attack on Titan. <laughs> it's the devil's just a giant Titan, and she just pulls out two blades like she's about to cut. Cuts the back of his neck first and shoots back up. I'll come back for you the rest of you, bitch. <laughs> Waves at Grandpa. <laughs> she just flips him off. Yeah. No, she's like, ha, ha. You thought you were going to heaven. They can't stop me. That's what you get for having two families. You gotta be careful about this. Anytime what? we've ever joked about somebody like this, because remember, this has happened multiple times. What? We've we've talked about a somebody on an episode, and then shortly after, they end up passing. Who did we talk about? We talked about uh, the, um, was it Nichelle Nichols from Star Trek? 
We talked about. I didn't talk about her. The, we, no, I talked about yeah, her. You, did. you talked about somebody else that had passed away like a week later, and uh, a couple other things. I think we had an episode where we talked about Betty White, and then she died. Let's talk about Donald Trump then. Uh, <laughs> we have almost that that motherfucker can't be killed. Yeah, he's he got to deal with the devil. That's he why. was drinking like ten gallons of fucking Diet Coke a day. The dog. Motherfucker was staring at the at, at a solar eclipse. But don't worry, Coke Zero is perfectly fine. Yeah, Coke Zero brought to you by uh, the Night Club Podcast. Our rebranded Coca Cola is going to come out in like two weeks, so just watch out for that. <laughs> it's kind of cool that every year they always seem to put Santa back on the can. I always thought that was a really cool tradition. Oh, Santa. It's weird that this year they put a bunch of black elves on here. <laughs> what if they put a black Santa on there, dude? Yo, why did they make the lips so red? <laughs> no, can you imagine that? Like, how many fucking white people are going to be pissed off about that? Like, the uproar of a black Santa on a Coke can. Um, either that or they made Krampus. <laughs> they to make the black guy. It's like, oh, it's Krampus. It's Krampus Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The South would just have a fucking field day with that, dude. Oh, uh, dude, but that's the thing. Coca Cola knows better. Like the South is like their biggest demographic. Yeah, like dude. down here, it there's no question whether or not uh you prefer Coke over Pepsi. It's always it's gonna Coke. be Coke over Pepsi. When you go to a restaurant, you want Coke or water? <clears throat> I'll have a Coke. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. When they say is Pepsi okay, you Fuck say no. no. Give me you something. get up and go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got Pepsi? Taco Bell. Taco Bell has Pepsi. Yeah, but no one gets anything but Baja Blast there. Yeah, that's true. Baja Blast. Or it's just a Sierra Mist, a crisp Sierra Mist. Well, Sierra Mist is gone. It got well, it's rep- called something else. It's, ca- it's called Starry now. Yeah, I'm just stupid. They lost a law. Lo- they lost to. They lost a fucking lawsuit where they tried to sue a woman who was who was going by the name Sierra Mist. Are you serious? Yeah, like she was. I don't know. Maybe like a fucking stripper or something like that. I don't know if she was a stripper or adult performer. Or she's just or- very burpy on the pole. Like she'll uh, spin. Uh, just burp. <laughs> I don't know. Um Whatever the case may be, she was going by the name Sierra Miss. The company reached out and they were like, you can't use that name. And she was like, take it to court, bitch. They took it to court she and won. they lost. She won. Gosh, she fucking raked that money in, probably. And then she fucking, and they, they got rid of Sierra. By the way, Sierra Miss tasted like dog shit compared to Sprite. Well, yeah, but if you have a choice. Sprite. Oh, yeah. No, but I'm saying like, if you go to Taco Bell, if you don't get a Baja Blast, you usually get a Sierra Miss. I get a Pib. I don't like Pib. I love Pib. I can't do Pib. Though. I like Pib. He didn't go to school, get a doctorate. Eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Dr. Pepper or Dr. Thunder. Uh, or Dr. Hunt Thunder hits, though, from uh, Sam's Club. Uh, Sam's Choice. It's all about the Piggly Wiggly one, dog. I haven't had that one. It's called Dr. Pig. Dr. Pig? Are you serious? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, you should have a taste test of all the doctors. Of all the doctors? Yeah, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Thunder, Dr. Pig. We'll put Mr. Pip in there. Dude, that's the thing. I always hate those ones that are blind, a blind test because I know that you're probably going to end up liking the one you least expect. Like, like, like right yeah. now, right now, you're talking shit on, on Mr. Pib, but no. you might end up drinking it and being like, this one is d- definitely Dr. Pepper because it's the best one. And it could be, dude, that's the thing. Are you getting Pib in a bottle, in a can, or are you talking about the fucking fountain drink? Because the fountain drink pib is always the worst. You got to get it from a can. You got to get it from a bottle. Pib always takes. I'll pay the extra 50 cents for the Dr. Pepper. Well, that's the thing. Like, uh, I like Dr. Pepper. I also like pib. I've had Dr. Thunder and all that other shit, you know. And for me, you know, I could take it or leave it with either one. The best zero one. Dr. Pepper Zero. Dr. Pepper Zero is the it's best. It's actually not bad, yeah. I it's like the it. best one. Like, I like Coke Zero. I really do. I love Coke Zero. I love Coke Zero Cherry. But, dude, fucking Dr. Pepper Zero is on a different level. Bro, have you ever had the fucking Dr. Pepper cake? Have you had the, what? The Dr. Pepper what? A cake. This is a cake? Dr. Pepper cake, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like a Coca-Cola cake. <laughs> they use a Coca-Cola or a Dr. Pepper to make a fucking cake. Ah, oh, dude, when's the last time you had a Coke float? Yeah, it's been there. I like Coke floats. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of root beer either. What? Really? I, I, I love never, root beer. I never got a taste for it. Well, it depends on the root beer. And then my brother's weird because he likes cream soda. I don't. Oh, yeah, oh. I can't do cream soda. Did I ever tell you about that cream soda thing that I did? Um, <laughs> what? 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me explain. That came, yeah, hold on. That came out wrong. <laughs> I creamed in the soda and drank it. it was so like, I, was at a, I was at a friend's house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he tricked me. <laughs> he used to cry. I was the pie. <laughs> <laughs> he was the filling. <laughs> No, no, no. I, uh, I was the eclair. <laughs> so, we, so back when back when I used to be like in bands and stuff, we used to always have band practice at this one a uh, buddy's house, yeah. right? And uh, he was in our band for like a hot minute. And um, I remember he was a real peculiar kid, and he used to just like collect random shit from like different like trips that he went on, right? Mm-hmm. He had gotten back from like a recent trip. I think he went up to like Gatlinburg, Tennessee, or Pigeon Forge, some mm-hmm. place up there, right? And he brought back a like glass bottle of like this vintage cream soda. Oh wow. And I was just like, yeah, dude, that's like the best cream soda I've ever had. And I was just like, I've never had cream soda. He said, let me try it. And he was like, no. He's like, it's like I'm gonna it's it's gonna go on my shelf. It's gonna stay there. Like it's it's just a little memento. Just not drink it. He's just not gonna drink it. He's just gonna you know how like, people yeah, like yeah, like yeah. to collect shit and just leave it on the fuck like I don't know why like old people like to love collecting fucking glass cokes. Like different like anniversary. Because it glass reminds cokes. them of like their time, I guess. I remember drinking that back when we used to kick out blacks out of movie theaters. <laughs> like this town used to be a sundown town. I've killed the many black. <laughs> Remember when we fucking torched Oscarville and put a lake over it? <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. It's it's the water. That's the first down, time dude. I had a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first Coke float. <laughs> Those bodies were floating down the river and I was drinking a Coke float. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> that, that city's coming back. You see how low the lake is now? Yeah. Bro. Anyways, moving on. Um, so, anyways, he had this fucking like cream soda that he was like trying to protect. I was there with some buddies, and I was like, "I'm gonna drink that fucking cream soda one way or another." So, what I ended up doing is I got it, and it was like one of those like it was like it was like it was uh, it was a soda with like a little like um, like twist top. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could twist it off like you know like a like a beer twist top, whatever. Yeah. I popped it off. I drank it. The worst fucking soda I've ever had in my yeah, life. It's cream soda. But I ended expect. up. But I took like a big swig of it, and then of course I was like, "Ugh, this is disgusting." And then my other friend was just like, "It can't be that bad." He drank it, and he was like, "Oh god, it's like pure fucking sugar. What the fuck?" Yeah. And we're like, "Well, fuck. What are we gonna do now? There's like this much like it's like this much cream soda like missing. He's gonna know." We're like, "We'll just fill it up with water." And he's like, "No, dude. If you fill it up with water, it's gonna dilute the color. He's gonna know." It's like we gotta fill it up with another like liquid of the same color so i pissed in it oh my god <laughs> i dude. pissed in it right to I where hope he you... drank it no this oh, is what damn. happened i pissed it all the way up i put the cork back on it i polished it off to make sure it looked clean and then i put it up on the fucking shelf we come back weeks later i was looking at it it was getting moldy oh, it, god. Was, it, it, it was foaming at the top and it was just like turning like real fucking thick <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was in my pit. That was back when I was like chugging like monster energy drinks like it was water. It's eating away the metal. It's just remember, corroding. Dude, remember in high school, we didn't know what energy drinks were. No, yeah, we didn't know how fucking bad they were. Dude, me and my boys, we chugged like three of those BFG cans <clears throat> a day. Dude, you gave yourself like kidney stones from drinking them. Twice. Twice? Yeah, dude. Damn. Luckily, the, the doctor, they had a really cool combo. One medicine pulverized it. It still sucked. <laughs> Because, it, like, it... it, it but Doctor it, totally pulverized me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you take the medicine uh, so you don't feel anything. And <laughs> no, wh- this uh, one's going to numb you out. <laughs> this one's going to make you forget. This one's called a popper. <laughs> it's going to open up that hole, boy. No, but, like, it... um. I didn't know what those were. Actually, I had to Google that. I, I had to you Google it. Because we were... Okay, we were They're watching... They're so bad for you, too. Me and Denise were watching, like, this... <laughs> Me and Denise were what? <laughs> we were what? Hold up. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> no. We were watching this movie that has, like, this gay comedian on, and it's, like, a gay, like, uh, bromance movie, whatever. It was actually really entertaining. I forgot what movie it was, but it was actually really funny. And it's broke my mouth. there's a scene where he's hooking up with a guy. You know, they're they're having gay sex, all that fun shit, and they start doing poppers, and... Denise was like, what's a popper? And I'm like, actually, I don't know. So we looked it up, and we're like, okay. So it's like a little stimulant thing that they do, and it also opens up their butthole a little mm-hmm. bit, which I'm like, okay, that's weird. But whatever. It makes sense for them. Yeah. Like, that's just something they do, okay? 
But yeah, I only recently knew. Like, I mean, what the fuck do I know about like yeah. gay culture? Like, I've I've never had gay sex in my yeah. life. We looked them up at our work on our work computers. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> what are poppers? Yeah, we we're like, what's a popper? And we were just like, oh, that's what it is. Uh, they're so bad for you. Really? Because they rate your blood pressure just fucking spikes, and you can give yourself a heart attack. Isn't it like oh, so it's kind of like taking off Viagra, maybe? Not really. It's just like a. It's a. You know those um. What is it? It's those fucking uh, the things that the fucking they're pretty much just kind of the same thing. Uh, with the weightlifters snort to make them like wake up a little. Oh, like the smelling salts. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, what the fuck was that? <sighs> Had gas. Yeah, it was sink. It was sinking in. How do we get on poppers? I have no idea. Yeah, this is. I mean, this is the fucking like every Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so Thanksgiving, we all... That's what I'm thankful for, for poppers. For, so that way they can open up my asshole. That's what we're doing next year. We're all snor- snorting poppers. That actually brings up another question. Uh, I forgot the fucking... Like, uh, I was about to ask. I was just like, have you ever been curious to try Viagra just to see what it's like? Not really, actually. I want to see like how bad it hurts. I want to get that thing really <laughs> no, filled dude. up. I want to no, get it because filled. if Because if it doesn't go away... You know how they get rid of it, right? How? They literally fucking have to draw they make... the blood out of you. <laughs> Oh, uh, they what? They take the blood out? They get a needle and they have to stab your dick and draw blood out. Oh, that's damn. what that's what makes your penis bigger. Oh shit. Cause when your dick gets hard, it's just filling up with blood. There's like little think of um think of little airbags. Yeah. Those are little like capillaries that fill up with blood. Mm-hmm. So that's what makes your dick big. That's why your dick is hot when you get a boner. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's blood. Okay. Yeah. I thought we were gonna go down. I thought I thought you were gonna set me up for something. Like, you know how they get rid of it, right? You have to have you have to have gay sex with the doctor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but yeah, they like they have to literally just stab you with a fucking needle and just draw blood out. Oh, good lord! Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like fucking bloodletting, dog. Yeah, they put a bunch of leeches on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> your dick goes. All right, we gotta put leeches on your dick. You just yell out the window. You're gonna have to get a whole truckload. <laughs> I got this hog on me. But no, um, I remember I saw this. Um, I want to do the blue shoes. Blue shoes? Yeah, we gotta get sponsored by them. Uh, we gotta try them too. Yeah, we'll do on the show. Uh, we're, we're gonna take blue shoes. Just, <laughs> just do. <laughs> <laughs> you just see. <laughs> Have you ever taken a blue shoe with your cousin and recorded it and put it on the internet? <laughs> Whoever gets a boner first loses and is gay. <laughs> it makes me think of that one video of the dude that talks about um. Uh, what the fuck is that video? It's a video of a dude where he's like, um, he's like, I came in like, uh, I came in like uh, four strokes or some shit like that. He's talking about, so he, it's him sitting in a room by himself. The, uh, this clip became very popular from um, uh, from y, uh, YMH, like your mom's house. No, okay. So this guy like shared his experience about what he did in order to like get himself to get a harder dick and come harder. And he talked about like, like I, uh, like I, uh, I, I, I showed it to my brother so he could try it, and I couldn't believe how big his oh. dick got. And I was, it was like, like it was super. Like I need to look up this what fucking. Fuck? I need you to listen to it because it's just yeah. so ridiculous. Well, I thought you were gonna go down the route. The it's a game that a bunch of like fraternity guys play, which is really weird because it's like just very homoerotic shit they do, of course. Yeah. And when you're in a frat, like you. You're a little, little gay, I think. Um, so what you do is you get with your boys and you put on a gay porno. And then everyone pops a Viagra. And the first person that gets a boner loses. Because, you know, you got a boner off of gay porn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is the clip. It's called Four Strokes Guy Who Likes Meth. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm going to tell you, if you've had any kind of erectile disorder problems, I'm here to tell you. Forget that Viagra, forget about salads, forget about dick and plants and all that stuff. Dick and plants? I told you what to do, and it does work. So, I don't know if you believe me or not, but if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small, limp dick that doesn't get hard any other way, and watch it get harder and harder. The more I smoke, the harder my dick gets. It's unbelievable. <laughs> if you want to see it, tell me yes. If you don't, it's okay, too. I won't. Why? But I just want all you guys to see. You're gay. You won't believe how good it feels if 
you're straight, you won't believe how good it feels. It's just stuff a little mess. You become so sensitive that you don't need lube, you don't need spit. You just stroke that dickhead this up and down four times. It's just hard to barely do it. Four times? You shoot an enormous amount of very thick, thick, hot yeah. white cum. The way you say it. More thick. cum than I've ever did in my life. And I know That's I'm gay. I love to get blowjobs. And i tell you what. i tell you what. Wait. I'm telling you, but this a few strokes, my brother didn't believe me. But when he smoked with me, he put out his dick. I couldn't believe how big his dick was. He jacked off in four strokes and shot the most cum he'd ever shot in his life. He's only 49, and he's fine. He has no neuropathy problems at all. But his dick is even harder and thicker and even more cum. He believes me now. I'm not here to tell you to do anything illegal. I don't want you to do anything illegal. But smoke math, you know. You know. You've never seen this clip? No, dude. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, uh, this this clip became very popular on uh, your mom's house. Okay. And they had a fucking, like, field day with this fucking... Um, what's funny is a lot of the people that they've covered and, like, joked around on their show, yeah, yeah. a lot of them are already dead. Really? Yeah, because they, they're the ones because that... they smoked meth <laughs> for their day. That show is the show where I watch where they shared the clip of the two guys boofing crack smoke. Where they, yeah, yeah, yeah one guy takes a hit of the crack yeah. and then blows the smoke into the other dude's yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a, that's that's a that's a bro right there. <laughs> that's not a bro. That's, that's, a, that's your bro right there, dog. It's not, dude. I would never do that to one of any of my friends. Well, 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 yeah, you would never smoke crack. Yeah, exactly. But I'm just saying, if your friend needed you, no. Uh, hey, blow a bubble in my ass. No, no. no well, okay, so. Okay, real life. You better story. smoke a popper first. No, 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 no. Popper? Would you think, would a popper help? What? It opens up your butthole. Okay, so, so let's say, let's say, <laughs> let's say metaphorically. No. Let's say metaphorically. Absolutely not. Your closest friend. Let's say your boy, John. Don't he, say his name. He, huh? Don't say his name. I'm not giving his full name. Whatever. Okay. Your boy hits you up and he's like, dude. The only way I'm gonna be able to survive this up, like survive, is if I take these fucking like uh, smoke up my ass, like like supplements. It's, sorry, bro. It's been good knowing you, man. Yeah. Oh, uh, we'll we'll get a hose. Well, I feel. Why don't you want to share his name? What? His, he has one of the most common white people names. That is true. My friend John is no different than me saying my friend Juan. Like, good luck. There's like thirty of them. 30 of them? There's 30 Juans in my life. Oh, yeah. Okay. It takes yeah. Juan to know Juan. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just... That's America, baby. All the Juans here, here. <laughs> oh, God. Back to Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> After talking about boofing and poppers and... All right, all right. Meth. On a serious topic. What are you... Okay, we're already an hour in. We haven't even fucking talked about the subject. But anyways... <laughs> We kind of did a little bit. Okay, for the year yeah. of 2023, what are you most grateful for? What am I more, most grateful for? Or thankful for, I should say. Thankful here? Um, I got some new shoes. <laughs> 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 no, I'm more thankful. I'm probably for my wife, you know. Yeah. We've, we've, we've done a lot this year, more than we thought we were going to do. <laughs> the uh, other day when I went to your uh, house to go, yeah, pick, she told me. to go pick up a camera, she was like, wait, did he not tell you that I was yeah. coming? She's like, no, she didn't. he didn't tell me at all. I swore I told her. No. I, to be fair, I do that a lot. Yeah. Where I'm always just like, I told you I was going to do this. And she was like, no, the fuck you didn't. I'm yeah. like, I swear I did. <laughs> You just weren't listening. And she's like, no. That's never. what you get for not listening. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's like, because she was get like. Get in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> you told them about that, making your wife make macaroni and cheese until it was perfect. Huh? <laughs> no. No, okay. So for Thanksgiving, we were trying to make a good homemade mac and cheese, and we kept fucking up the roux. And uh, the the. If for anybody that knows what I'm talking about, you have to make like a thickening agent in order to make the cheese like really like creamy and stringy and all that, Bro, that beautiful shit. shit. Heavy though. Yeah. Huh? That that mac and cheese made with roux, like a homemade. Yeah. Bro, that's just the heaviest fucking thing you'll ever. Oh, eat. I know. I'm still constipated, but that's the thing. It's so fucking <laughs> worth it. But we fucked it, we fucked up that damn mac and cheese like three or four like like no two or three times. 
because we just weren't getting it fucking right. We're like, God damn it, we're trying to get this fucking mac and cheese to be perfect. And she obviously was just like ready to give up. I'm like, no, 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 no. let's stay. Let's focus. We're going to get this done. And finally, we're able to nail it. And we were finally able to get like our mac and cheese done. And we're super proud of it after the fact. But the thing is, man, like sometimes certain cooking things are take a yeah. fucking minute to get right. It's kind of like, like how long does it take? Did it take you to get the fucking like, uh, like the the consistency for like a Mexican rice down? It takes a minute. Yeah, it does. It takes a fucking minute. I still fuck it up all the time. Yeah, I do yeah. too. Uh, for me, it's always like I always seem to fuck up on the flavoring. Either I, it's either not enough flavor, or either it's not enough tomato, mm-hmm. or it's, it's too much, or it's too much tomato. That's yeah. the where I fuck up the most. And then every time I fucking try to talk to my mom or grandma or my sister who makes a really good rice now, my sister got really good at making rice. Uh, Mexican. Yeah, yeah. They. Anytime I ask them, okay, what am I doing wrong? They're like, you're not doing anything wrong. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, then why isn't it tasting? Good? Why does it taste like shit? Why do I keep fucking up the damn rice? I always think it's funny whenever, it, like, because your sister works at the doctor's office that I go to. Yeah. And uh, every single time I see her, I, I always ask the same thing. I'm like, oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> She's like, I'm working. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're an adult. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I remember... Um, uh, she had talked about once I'm bumping into your dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and your dad was just like, yeah, I have to go to see the doctor. I can't fart. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, that was when he was, like, really fucked up, dude. <laughs> like, uh, what is it? He, um, there was something going on with his stomach. He was, like, retaining, like, air or gas. Dude, no, yeah. Like, you would see him, dude. It looked like his, like, stomach was about to, like, something was growing in him. Oh, my it God. It was bad. Like, it was to the point where they were, like, he went to the hospital one time, and they were, like, oh, if you didn't come, like, the next hour. <laughs> we got to make you come. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said if he didn't, if he, if he had waited, like, another hour, because my dad was, like, I'll just go in the morning. I'll just go in the morning. And my mom was, like, no, you need to go right now. And if he didn't go, his stomach would literally have fucking exploded. There was God. so much gas in it. Dude. Good Lord. Yeah. And then they finally, like, because he was in the hospital for, like, a week. Yeah. It was, like, just recently uh, <laughs> because they tried to do something to fix it. And then the valve wasn't working <laughs> right. And it wasn't releasing the gas like it mm-hmm. should have. So his stomach just kept doing it again. Oh, God. And then... They had to put they had to put like his intestines to sleep because that's a thing because your intestines are an involuntary muscle. It's like your tongue, your heart, your pretty much all your organs. They work without you having to think to work. They should have just gave him like a little valve with a spigot on it, like just turn it. <laughs> like they do the cows. <laughs> have you seen those videos? No, bro. It's like they. It's literally like it looks like a big <laughs> ass syringe, but it has like a little valve on it, like you're like getting water out of the cow, <laughs> and you they clean up the cow and then you go. And you hear a, it looks, it sounds like they're like a fucking, like, when they're uh, fixing a tire when you have a nail in it. Yeah. Yeah, when they're popping that thing into it. Mm-hmm. You hear, Dunk! Into their ass? Into the cow's side. Oh, yeah. shit. Because it's their stomachs that are, they're, they oh, I thought, you, I thought you meant that they're trying to force the fucking, like, no. the, the gas out of their ass or something. No, like. it's out of the stomach because that's where it traps. I just don't want to go back to what you said. It's like the doctors <laughs> go to your dad and be like, you got to come. <laughs> we got to make you come. Uh, uh, what? It's like you, you have to do it. The doctor starts stripping. He's like, "This is I have to." This is putting on gloves. He's like, "Why are those silk? What the fuck? Why are they fingerless? <laughs> the palms are open. What the fuck?" <laughs> he puts on the song from like Signs of the Lambs. Would you fuck me? <laughs> I'd fuck me. <laughs> He's all tucked away. Uh, well, here's the problem. Your balls are full. <laughs> We got wow. a- <laughs> <laughs> but Fuck. Yeah. But no, it sucked for him because uh, you have to put your intestines to sleep when they're doing a surgery. Like what that. the fuck? Uh, but what happens is sometimes your intestines just stay stupid mm-hmm. because of the medicine, and they won't wake up on time. So he had to go back to the hospital uh. because of that because – his intestines weren't working, so he couldn't digest food or anything. And they said, like, they had to, like, shove the tube down his throat and literally <laughs> vacuum out his stomach and intestine. Oh, God. And he said it was the – he and they kept them awake for it because they had to. Mm-hmm. He said the stuff that came out, he was, while they were sucking it out, you might die. He can't hear anyone gag or anything. Yeah. He, he just, like, mold and black food coming out of the tube. Oh. 
and you see him, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> but he can't throw up because that's what the valve thing does too. You cannot throw up. Oh shit! Yeah, so he's just over there, just. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, I hit him with one of those. I haven't done it lately because it does hurt him. I have noticed before, man. Like I've I've smelled some pretty like heinous shit before. Like like you know like sometimes you like get a yeah, whiff yeah, of yeah. like hot garbage at the at the dump and shit. Oh, yeah. You know. Or, like, you smell somebody's, like, throw up or you see it and you mm-hmm. just, like, you just know that, that smell. It kind of makes you want to gag a little bit. It takes a minute to make me want to throw up. Like, for me, I, I've noticed that, like, I can hold it. I can hold it back for the most part. But there are moments, there's only been a couple of moments where I was just like, oh, God. Like, I, I feel it coming. Like, I feel it, like, ugh. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm coming. <laughs> no, I had <laughs> <laughs> No, I had a moment like that just recently. <laughs> I was driving my car and I had someone sitting, uh, or yeah, I was driving a car and I had someone sitting behind me. <laughs> and um, they do this weird thing where they like, they just don't want to burp. Uh-huh. So you remember how your brother used to do like when he would put his fingers down his throat, like to like do something, and then he would he wouldn't like gag or anything. He was just like moving his tongue, I think, with his hand. Remember yeah. when his hands were all like chapped and stuff because he would kept putting it in his mouth. For context, my brother was a special needs kid, yeah. and he would like to, um, he would like to put his hands like in his mouth a lot for some yeah. reason. It was like a weird comfort thing that yeah, he used but to do. When, afterwards, whenever he would do it, he would like, <sighs> yeah, yeah, like the neck pop thing. Like mm-hmm. he would move his fucking esophagus or whatever he did. Yeah, he make he sometimes like make like a clicking noise and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And we 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 I mean we took him to doctors for years and never really found out. And they just said that he was just something that he did. Yeah, it was for, like a thumb suck almost. Yeah, yeah. I think they I think they said that they believed he did it because of like how like he had a really large tongue. Yeah, he did. It's, uh, I think they, I think it's because because of his tongue was like so large he like, had a difficult closing his jaw. Yeah, that's so why th- the women loved him. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, he used to get in trouble a lot. Yeah. He was a little. He, no, no. Yeah. He, he, my brother, my brother was um, had Down syndrome, right? Yeah. And he would always get in trouble from his special ed teachers because he always grabbed their tits. <laughs> he'd always, and then, what was funny is like he would grab a tit and squeeze it, and then he'd go chi chi. <laughs> 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 and he got that from your yeah, dad. Yeah, no, my dad taught your us da- so many bad fucking habits, dude. Because your dad would go up to him and grab his little tit and be like, Chi-Chi. And yeah, then, just fuck it with And then, you know, he would, like, start laughing. Yeah. You know, my brother had, like, a really silly laugh. And then uh, he, oh, like, the same way how we had a cousin who every time he would come over, he would say, sup. And then say the N word. Yeah. And then my brother started saying that at school. And they had to be like, they had to talk to my mom and be like, your son is picking up language habits from, I guess, another family member. Yeah. Or are you saying the N word at home? <laughs> your mom's like, not. <laughs> nah. But no, but I don't uh, know what you're talking about. <laughs> nah, that ain't me, fam. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me, fool. Your mom's just sitting there like this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me, fool. But uh, no, yeah. So going back, uh, so this person was sitting behind me, and they do that weird. They they do some weird thing where they won't burp. They just <sighs> it's like they're fucking deflating. Yeah. They had the worst smelling fucking breath, dude. Ugh. It was just like I would, and then I would be driving, and I would feel the breath hitting me in the back of the neck, and I was like, "Oh God!" And then you would smell it. It it smelled so bad. It was rancid. Mm-hmm. It was like, you know, when it smells so bad, it's sour. Mm-hmm. That's what it smelled like. And this person, I know for a fact, brushes their teeth like four times a fucking day. And I'm like, I need you to brush your teeth more. <laughs> oh, you know what that could be? What? Those fucking little stones that people get. Oh God! Yeah, what's it, what's it called? Like the tonsil, tonsil, sto- stones, tonsil yeah. stones. Tonsil stones. Like a lot of times are the source of like really bad breath. I don't get tonsil stones. My wife gets them a lot. Well, I don't have tonsils anymore. Well, my wife yeah. gets tonsil stones sometimes because the thing is, she brushes like regularly, and I fuck up a lot and forget. So like my teeth are probably in a lot worse condition than hers are, but because she gets tonsil. St- stones her breath ends up stinking more than mine does because a lot of times she's like my like she's like does my breath stink it was like oh fuck i have a tonsil stone she'll have to go in there yeah. and poke it out and she'll get it out and it's fucking it's 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 weird does but she collect them no no they'll be <laughs> she should collect them and sell them as like aquarium rocks i collect my toenails <laughs> people do that shit still dude yeah, yeah. i think it's just gross 
Well, the one thing that irritates me that my wife likes to do, she likes to pick at my skin. Like, if she sees, like, I have, like, a blackhead or something, yeah. she has to get in there and get it. Oh, for I enjoy it when my hand it does it for me. I can't, I can't stand yeah. it. I hate, I also hate, uh, feel like a monkey. I hate getting my hair plucked too. Cause she likes to pluck, like, the unibrow hair. Oh, no. Why? I, I fucking hate it. Yeah. I just don't like Tell her not to do it. Huh? Tell her not to do it. I do. And she's just, she's like, no, you're going to walk around with a fucking caveman eyebrow. I'm like, yeah. let me be a caveman. Oh, oh. <laughs> just start, oh, oh, oh. ooga booga, bitch. <laughs> Ride wife. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. <laughs> what do you think cave people did? Uh, do you think they do you think cave people had holidays? Hmm? They have holidays? Yeah, like maybe like the sun's in a certain place or something really, certainly happens. I would say that they probably didn't have the best perception of time. I think most of them were probably just hell bent on survival. Well, I mean, they would notice, you know, the changes of the season. I wonder if cavemen ever thought like thought about whether or not they looked cool or not. That's what I really want to know. Oh yeah, cave guys like just looking in like a puddle of water. Like, mm. That. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that one video of like this girl who's like trying to take a selfie with her grandfather, and the grandfather's like, "Is that me?" <laughs> and she's like, "Yeah, look, it's us. We're gonna take a selfie." And she's just like, "Is that what I look like?" She's like, "Go get my gun, shoot me." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, dude. He's like, go get my gun and fucking shoot me. <laughs> I was like, God. That's funny as fuck, dude. I can't wait to be a fucking, like, grumpy old, like, crazy man. It's like, I yeah. just want to die. <laughs> Let me be. Here's something I wanted to talk about, man. Because like, I thought about this. Like, how? Um, the, um, this, this, is, this is getting a little, this is a little bit on the serious side. But also, oh. it, you know, take it how you will. Yeah. How how. How often do you think our parents are thinking about death? A lot. It's like, it's, it's, it's there. It's there. Like they're in their fifties. Like, I uh, like, they're like mid to late fifties now. Do you think they're terrified of it? Or do you of think, course they are, or do you think they're just set? They're like learning to accept it at that age. I think they're learning to accept it, but they're still terrified of it. Cause I mean, still when you die, I mean, still 50 still relatively young. It's yeah, not like but anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all the medical shit that's been going on in our family. I feel like by the time that I hit, like, 65, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm on the way out. Yeah. Like, I'm on the way out. And once if I make it to 70, I'm like, I should be dead. I should be fucking dead. <laughs> At 70? That's, yeah. I mean, think about it, man. We're like, I, 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 like, even with, like, the advances in, like, science and medicine and shit, we're still eating bullshit food yeah. that's not being grown the way it used to I mean, be grown. I mean, the plant is going to die pretty soon. We're so. consuming, like, I don't know, like, fucking, uh, apparently, like, enough plastics to kill a turtle. Oh, well, you can, uh, per year, I think it's, um, you eat enough plastics for one credit card. All right. Well, yeah. fuck, I, I feel like I should have shit it out by now. No, it stays in your body, dude. Those are forever. Those forever those are, chemicals, dude. Those are forever chemicals? Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. That doesn't go away. That's Thank why you. they keep the they keep trying to make uh, uh, biodegradable plastics. Teflon, dog. That's not biodegradable. No, no, that's that's what I'm saying. That's where the that's where the microplastics are coming from. So oh, yeah. the, the Teflon plans, uh, pans and shit. Oh yeah. All I mean, that nonstick it. shit is apparently really bad for you. Oh, yeah. That's why you should use cast iron. That's just hard to maintain sometimes too. Well, you just have to make sure you treat it. Yeah. Which, like apparently no, it's not that hard. Then, when you treat it, you have to keep like upkeep it. You're supposed to clean it with a potato. Or just a like a wipe. Like a No, towel. I think you're not supposed to use soap because soap will cause it to rust. No, but that's when you have to clean it. Like when you do clean it, you use a mild soap. A mild soap? Yeah, and you scrub it and then you just uh you let it you pat it dry, let it air dry. And then you can reseason it. Then I'm gonna use a black and mild. A black and mild, just scrub it. <laughs> Rub it with that jazz, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I remember kids back in the day. Dude, when I worked at the grocery store, they would come in and be like, "Yeah, can I get a, a like?" They're like buying the groceries and get throwing candy on. There's like, and like anything else? Oh yeah, can I get a? Black? And then drop in their voice. They sound older. Yeah, can I get a, a black and mild? Uh, can I see your ID? Oh, I left my wallet. I'm not selling you black and mild then. Come on, man. Just give me the one. No. Can you just give me one out of the pack? No. Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, it's half price. It's 50 cents. Hey, yo, let me get a Lucy. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, dog. Like, this is a, a fucking New York bodega. Like, yeah. get the fuck out of here. You got a crack pack already? <laughs> I was like, no, bud. I remember one time, dude, I think it was like fucking, I was, um. A Lucy. 
I was around like 22, 23, you know. This is before they added the whole like 21 rule cuz now you have to be 21 to buy cigarettes. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. Yeah, um and I remember back then that was still when I was like still 18. Um I remember I was walking to a, a a gas station and I ended up buying like a pack of cigarettes or something. And I was walking out and there's a group of teenagers out there and they're just like, "Yeah, man, like if you I, we'll give you like 10 bucks if you can like get us a fucking six pack right and i was just like 10 bucks dog it's like nah <laughs> the con- this one i'm not doing that because that's gonna get me in a lot of trouble yeah and two this is what you're doing you're waiting outside a gas station to try to convince an adult to bring you alcohol yeah he's like you haven't lived the life i've lived dog like we used to fucking stroke we used to okay so how we used to get high uh, alcohol in high school is oh we- you okay I yeah thought you're, the kid was saying that to you i was like what the fuck is this no, kid no, no, no 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 <laughs> i'm talking I, I was telling it's like Telling this kid, you know what we used to do? You know how we got alcohol as kids? We used to steal it. Yeah. We used to go in there, distract the fucking clerk, and then one guy would grab a 24 pack and run out the front door, throw it in the back of a truck, and we'd be like, go, 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 go. I'm grabbing bags of Funyuns. Like, (laughs) you're just running out the road. Did you get Cheetos? Fuck. (laughs) Oh, God. I I got the Slim Jims. Those are mild. You get the Tabasco ones. Ah. (laughs) <laughs> just grab the rack, grab the rack! <laughs> just dragging the whole fucking rack outside. <laughs> I love the ones. Have you seen the videos of when like kids try to steal from a place? Yeah. But they have the doors rigged with a button. Yeah. So they it'll lock the doors. They just doot, and the doors lock. And they just run into the door. <laughs> I remember one time me and my buddies went to this corner store that was really close to one of our friends' house. He Which lived, one? He lived out. No, it doesn't exist anymore, actually. Okay. It was like a it was like a mom and pop like gas station. You fucking asshole. I didn't give a fuck. Because we were fucking we were fucking 14, dog. We walked in there and the things we bought stuff. Yeah. What we stole was more than what you bought. No, we we stole cigars. Because obviously uh, they're not gonna sell yeah. 14-year-old cigars. And that's the only thing that we could get at like, that we could reach. All the cigarettes are behind the counter, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they used to have like a little section where they'd have like a bunch of different like cigars. Mm-hmm. And I remember, cigarellos. yeah, they used yeah. to have they used to have these like um, different flavored cigarellos that actually came in cigarette packs, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember we were like, we gotta get, grab some of those. Those are the easy ones, easiest ones to grab it's because they're, they're, they're like the closest to the shelf. But we gotta distract this old bitch to any fucking get them. You're right. And, of course, none of them wanted to fucking do it. So I'm like, fuck y'all. I got this, you know? So go distract them. They wasn't distracting them. And I literally was grabbing, like, like a couple of them. And I was stuffing them in the back of my pants, right? I was pu- I was putting them in my underwear. They were basically on my ass, right? You're and putting then, them up. You're keistering them. But in that second, the second, I, by the time I got grabbed the last one I was stuffing in there, I realized there was a fucking adult standing right behind me. And I fucking turned around. I, I put my shirt down and I, I turn around and that's the first person I see this older dude. He's probably like, I don't fucking know, like 24, 25 year old adult, right? Whatever. And he's holding like a big fucking like 24 pack and he's staring right at me as I did it. Right. And then when I see him, I'm, I was assuming he was going to be like, put that shit back. Right. Mm-hmm. No. He saw me and he winked at me and he just turned his head and I was just like, fuck yeah. And we bolted out of there, dog. And we fucking. What like, you didn't know? He was winking at you because he saw your little butt crack. <laughs> He's like, mm, yeah. What else can you put in there? Yeah. It's the same night. <laughs> Wait, how many fucking packs did you put in your pants? Uh, I think it was only like like three or four. Oh, okay. I thought you put like a bunch in there so it looks like you have lumpy ass or something. No. <laughs> you just walk out. <laughs> You should have farted on them for your friends. I was 14 years old, and I became a man that night. Because <laughs> one of the cigars flipped up there. No, that same guy met me up later and fucked me in the ass. <laughs> That's why we talked about poppers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I smelled this thing, and I felt amazing. The funniest thing I've ever heard was that that same mom and pop shop, That it, again, it was like a fucking like ratty little, like, mm-hmm. like I know it's a, I know it's bad because it's like a mom and pop shop, but like the, the reason we were stealing from the fucking place was because one, the clerks were fucking assholes, and but but also it was just like the rattiest fucking gas station ever. Like it, like I wouldn't be surprised if everyone that walked through there was just fucking like stealing shit from them, because like, um, we uh we had one buddy who walked in there and he was just like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna 
try to distract that lady by getting her to take us over to like the glassware stuff. Like, you know how you always had like yeah, the little yeah, glass yeah. cases with all the fucking like you know like like uh, uh, the fucking like glass bowls and bongs and shit. The right? tobacco pipes. Yeah, they were they, they they distracted her long enough for her to go over there and fucking just like 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 pull stuff from the shelf because you know they had to pull it out from the shelf for you to see it. So one of them was like, "All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna distract her, and while you're distracted, one of y'all run to the back." You grab a 24, 24 rack, and you just walk out with it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Do not be obvious about it. Just grab it and walk out like you already bought it. Don't, don't, don't even, don't try to run. Just be normal about it, right? Just walking out. Go, so go. We, so we sent our, we sent her. Uh, they sent uh, our boy Ross. I wasn't there when this happened. This is what my buddy was telling me about. But they were distracting him. They're distracting the clerk. Our buddy Ross, who's this fucking maniac of a man, uh, or or kid, because we were they were like what fifteen or sixteen at the time, right? He walks to the back of the store and they told him, "Do not be obvious about it." This motherfucker stuffed two twenty four racks in his shirt. And then he was walking out like he was walking out like he's like this, this is my stomach. And I'm then, half robot. He he made it all the way to the truck and then. Uh, the clerk turns around and just sees him drop, like lift his shirt, and then all the fucking beer is falling out. And then he's just grabbing everything really fast and throwing it in the back of the bed. And they're just like, "Run!" And they just all start scrambling. <laughs> they just start scrambling. Oh my, oh my god! I think that lady did end up calling the cops, but they didn't know obviously where they lived. You came back the next day. Well, the thing is, like, this was like the nearest little shop yeah, to yeah, yeah. like where. One of my buddies stayed, but it's still like a mile and a half down the road. So it takes a minute and it's all surrounded by nothing but farmland. Uh, again, this place doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember what it was called. I think it literally was just called like Stop and Go or oh, okay. or Stop Mart or some shit like that. Wait, like was it the one that sold the bait too? No, no, they didn't sell fish bait or anything. Oh, okay. No, this was out like this is all going out like towards like. Just pure farmland. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Thieves. we were fucking maniacs, dog. We didn't never. I, I, we were kids. Friends, we never had the steel. Yeah, because uh, Yeah, it was because your friends were pussies. No, <laughs> no, because we had it there. Like y'all were stealing from white people. No, we didn't have to steal it though. That's the thing. I mean, weren't you getting it from like actual adults though? So we had we just made friends with like old like older people. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Then we went to college parties. Ugh. Yeah, high school kids at college parties. No, not in high school. Oh. In high school, we had alcohol. Yeah, that's and what I'm saying. College, Where were you getting your alcohol as for high the school adults? Kids? Were stealing it from the parents. They weren't our parents. Oh. <laughs> but no, like, um, what is it like in college parties when you're under twenty? All you have to do is cover your asses. Uh, pro tip out there: uh, just stand at the door if you're under twenty one. Uh, black X's and permanent marker. Get that big ass one that burns your skin. Uh, two big X's on the hands. That mm-hmm. way it's harder to wash off. And the people that do wash it off, they're fucking pieces of shit. Um, so that way, if the party does get, like, cops call on it, you can. Uh, it, it does work, but it, it only works so many times. But if the cops come and they're like, who's running this party? Oh, I am. Uh, do you, you know you have people underage drinking here? It's like, actually, no, I shouldn't because I marked everyone that's underage. Like, they should not have a drink. I didn't give them alcohol. Yeah, I don't think that shit works anymore. Yeah. Well, then again, people aren't really ha- throwing house parties like they used to. No anymore. People, people don't fucking. In. People don't like. People like, don't hang out. Yeah, it's all yeah. everything's online now. Yeah, just I'm cool with. But just fucking softies. I'm cool with it. No, like, bro, I, I loved house parties. We used to have a fucking wild. Honestly, time. I didn't. It was too much fucking like mayhem. Well, yeah, you're you were more like closed than me. Like I'm, I was all over the. Well, place, that's the dude. thing. Like I liked having fun with like like having like 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 meetups and shit. Yeah. But once they got to like too many people, that's where I really didn't like this. Cause that's when you start losing track of what the fuck everyone is doing. Well, I mean, that's and that's when you start you getting don't. bad eggs. That's That's when you start going to parties. We're like, Oh fuck. Like this dude got so drunk that he fucking like, you know, did some sh- regrettable shit to somebody. And now we got to go out there and fucking beat his ass and shit for, I mean, that's why you hang out with people that 
are not like that. Well, that's the thing. It's not really a, like if it's like a legitimate house party. It's not every. It's not everybody that you know. It's just people are showing up. Yeah, but I mean, what we would do is someone shows up like that. We're like, hey, you gotta leave. Mm. Like before they even like start doing anything. I don't know. Maybe things are just different in you in that that part. But then again, remember, I'm growing. Uh, I was growing up in like this area, which is different than your area. No, yeah, your area course. is like more out. And I had all the fucking... all the white kids that went to college. Yeah, yeah. Were you like the only brown there, or is there? All, no, uh, there's couple, a couple. A couple, couple other of Indians browns? too. It was weird. Indians. Yeah, you could smell them a mile away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This, is one, this is one Indian chick. She was cute as fuck though. Yeah. God, but um. She was just showing up like randomly. It was weird. She show you the Durka Durka? No, she didn't. Yeah, she give you the Burka Burka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, she was looking for white. Oh, she was looking for white. Yeah, a lot of really, uh, a lot, a lot of fucking people Dude, who one. come from like minority places are really hell bent on like getting with a white person. Yeah, you gotta get that credit, bro. I don't know. It's Around the, here, it's the, stability. Stability, my ass. Yeah. But no, like, what is it? Um, what the fuck is it? I knew uh, one girl who got with two different white dudes, and both of them ended up assaulting her. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. And I, I mean, was just nowadays like, white dudes are fucking crazy, but back in the day, they were the safe bet. Dude, like, uh, uh, not to share too much information about like my wife, but she, she most of the most of the people that most of the guys that she ever dated, like in her history were Hispanic except for one. And the one white guy that she dated was a fucking psychopath. Like enough to where like whenever she had like, they only had, they, they were only together for like a couple of months and they mm-hmm. broke it off. He stalked her for almost two years. Oh, was that the one that called you? Yeah. Yeah. He was trying to fight me and I was just like, pull up dog. And then yeah. he never did because that's the thing about some people. People are a lot of talk and they want to do shit. Yeah, also like, over. also like, People always come with the assumption of like he's a Mexican, he's fucking like five foot ten, little fucking chamaco running around. It's like, no, right? I'm a big motherfucker, dude. Yeah, we're, we're big boys. We're big boys around yeah. here. It's like, not I, around I, here, I, partner. Yeah, not I, around here. I ain't gonna fight you. I just gotta fall on you. Yeah. Yeah, you can get back up. I got reach for days, dog. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking light you up if you even try to come near me. And if you do get close to me, guess what? We're gonna kiss. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you do. No, the tactic is you. Uh, you just start getting naked. No, huh? like someone comes at you, you start like taking off clothes, like take off your shirt, first, yeah, and start unbuttoning your pants and throw off your shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they don't knock your ass out while you're half naked. You but, know, those are my technique for a lot of things. <laughs> Just getting butt naked. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time my buddies were getting into an argument over who was going to get like the spare bed at my my buddy's oh, house. He told us, I got yeah. naked. I just got yeah. naked and I jumped in like like. I was like, it's mine. Who wants it? All spread leg. That was star fishing. <laughs> <laughs> It looks uh, like a dragonfly landed on my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm covered in thoth. Mm, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just, just jumped on the bench. <laughs> no, my friends have seen my dick a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It, because, I mean, it was just funny. To, it's just funny to flash your dick at your friends. Because it's just like, dude, I remember why? The fucking, uh, you used, uh, there was one guy in school. He used to do it to fucking everyone. It was annoying. He used to goat people. Yeah. So you you throw your oh, balls back yeah. and clutch them between your legs. <laughs> and like you turn around and you're like man. <laughs> and he would man. <laughs> one of the things I used to think was so funny. Uh, one of our friends used to do this shit where he would steal your phone and then he would change take your, a picture. He would take a picture of his balls, <laughs> like in a like you'd hold his his balls in like the brain and take a yeah. photo, set it as the phone background, and then change the password. <laughs> <laughs> So you'd be there trying to get it to your phone, and your password's not working. That's funny. <laughs> so just keep staring at his balls. <laughs> and then he would wait till later that day to text you the, the fucking the fucking passcode. That's funny. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll fucking. <laughs> we'll end on that. Happy Turkey Day, everybody. Thanksgiving. Black Friday. All Woo! that shit. Fuck up someone for that Tickle Me Elmo. Uh, Argue with your family about politics. You can tickle my Elmo. Bring the poppers. Shout out to all the girls that, you know, pay attention to the prostate. Anyways, thank you again for listening to another episode of The Night Fun. Make sure to... (laughs) 